and see what you're doing. AT&T already has warnings for the iPhone and uh, some of their other phones, but there are very easy ways that you can just type in something on your phone, dial something, and it will tell you where you are. Easy is better. That's right. Thanks, Doug. Okay. Burns, over to you. All right, friends, thank you. The signs were all over. Bunnell High School saying home of Connecticut's Teacher of the Year, even before Kristen Record was named Connecticut's 2011 Teacher of the Year. I guess her students got it right. Kristen is here to explain the process and all the excitement. Now you're on record. Record's on record. <laughs> That's of right. Always on record. So congratulations. Thanks thank for coming in. Thank you so in. much. Pleasure to be here. What did you have to do? I mean, you had to be a great teacher, but what was the process to become Teacher of the Year? Well, first I had to be nominated to be District Teacher of the Year year by two of my colleagues and I went through our district's application and interview process and in June I was selected to be Stratford School District Teacher of the Year and from then I was able to apply for Connecticut Teacher of the Year and I was notified in the beginning of September that I was a semi-finalist so they brought all the semi-finalists up to Hartford for half hour interviews and presentations up at the State Capitol building and then I was notified that I was a finalist and so the entire 16 person committee came to each of the four finalist schools to do site visits for half days mm -hmm. and they talked to everyone from students to parents to colleagues to the school custodian the school nurse you name it they spoke to those people what do you think won it for you well, I think that I've always been really passionate about teaching and I love science and that comes through my teaching every day with my students and I think parents appreciate the interest that I take in their kids and uh, I think I make a difference. Were there some creative ways that you came up with to try to teach students that maybe helped you win? Um, I wouldn't say that there's one creative way. My sort of mission is to always make sure that what I'm doing in class is applicable to everyday life. I think it's important to start with how kids are already thinking about scientific ideas because you engage with science all day long every day in your life and physics is all around us and I really try to bring that forth in my teaching. So what happens now? Do you go for Teacher of the Year for the United States? Yeah, is that it? actually yeah. Um, my application for National Teacher of the Year is due at the end of the month so I got to get hopping on that and uh, there will be some conferences and some speaking engagements uh, that will start in January and then in May I'll be going to Washington for a recognition ceremony with the President. So that's exciting. I was just going to say, aside from having the bragging rights, what else do you get be, by becoming Teacher well, of the Year for Connecticut? It's funny because a lot of people have asked me, you know, do you get a bonus or something right. like that? Um, and so I don't, but um, I think that this is something especially that a physics teacher can appreciate. I get to go for a week to space camp over the summer and do <laughs> astronaut training, so I'm so psyched about that. Where will that be? In Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. Oh, that'll be terrific. I can't wait. All right. And so you must be getting lots of people calling and congratulating, you having parties and everything? Well, my students all wanted to have a party today, but since I'm up here, that has to be postponed until next week. All right, well, you'll do it. Oh, thank you so much, Kristen. Congratulations. Thanks very much. We'll be rooting for you to win the national title. That'll thank be you. Terrific. It'll be great. All right, see you later. Thanks for coming in. Sarah, over to you. Thanks, guys. Up next in the Fox Connecticut Morning News. It's that time again for the third annual Barktoberfest, Barktoberfest, and we're celebrating National Adopt-a-Dog Month.